Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a complex expression with complex logarithm. We have the ln of 1 plus i, which is a complex logarithm. How do you take the log of a complex number? We'll talk about that. And in the numerator, we kind of have like a weird sum, ln 4 and i pi. So it's kind of like a complex number given in standard form like a plus b i right okay if you haven't checked it out yet make sure to check out my video on my other channel cyber math which kind of uses complex numbers towards the end and let me know what you think all right cool cool now let's go ahead and see how we can simplify this in two ways let's start with the first method because that seems to be a little longer and first of all let's talk about the natural log or logarithm of a complex number or in other words complex logarithm how do you log a complex number here's the definition natural log of z is equal to natural log of the absolute value of z plus i times the argument of z make sense it's that simple right think about it if you write z as r e to the i theta and replace r with absolute value of z and theta with argument of z then you're gonna get pretty much the same idea make sense okay cool let's go ahead and see how we can apply it to our situation now notice that we have the ln of 1 plus i in the denominator let's go ahead and replace z with 1 plus i what's the absolute value of 1 plus i if you use the argand plane, it's going to be like 1, 1. If you look at the distance from 0, because this is 1, this is i, it's going to be root 2 from the Pythagorean theorem. So, this is root 2. An argument of z is basically, let's zoom in a little bit, right? It's going to be this angle right here, and that is pi over 4. Why? Because this is an isosceles triangle. Make sense? Okay, cool, cool. Now, let's go back here and see what happens. Now, we got two things. The argument as pi over 4. That's the principal argument, by the way, between negative pi and pi. And we got the absolute value of z. Let's go ahead and clean this area. Maybe even clean this. And take it from here. So, we have the ln of 1 plus i being equal to ln of square root of 2. By the way, this is a real logarithm. I mean, really, that's a complex logarithm. Plus i times pi over 4. Awesome. So that's basically how you can log a complex number. Obviously, the log of a complex number or the natural log of a complex number is a complex number, another complex number. And as you can see, it's written in a plus bi form, right? Okay, cool. So I forgot to say one thing though. In this case, well, maybe I said it, but pi over 4 is the principal argument, right? This is the principal argument. And I actually want to generalize this because that's not the only argument that this number can have. In general, we have to write it as follows. ln 1 plus i equals ln root 2 plus i times pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. So we need to add multiples of 2 pi because that's our period. And, you know, n is an integer, right? n is an integer. Zalen. All right. That's where the z comes from, I find out, from the comments. Thank you uh, for all the beautiful explanations. Now, that kind of looks complicated, doesn't it? But if you take a special value, then it's going to be a little better. Let's go ahead and make the substitutions. Now we have ln 4 plus i pi divided by ln 1 plus i. Now we're going to go ahead and replace replace the bottom one with what it is ln 4 plus i pi and at the bottom we have ln root 2 plus i times pi over 4, I don't know why I wrote 2, 
pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. Do you like it? Okay, probably not, right? But here's the special scenario again. We're going to go back to the principal value. I, I want to show you the general solution, but then we want to simplify the process. What happens if n is equal to 0, right? Then we're going to have something simpler like ln4 plus i pi divided by ln root 2 plus i times pi over 4, which is the value, the initial value that we found. Make sense? Great. Obviously, this is much, much better. But we can still simplify it, and I'm going to show you some results from from alpha as well. How do we simplify this? Good question. First of all, 4 can be written as 2 squared. And root 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 half, right? So by using the power property of logarithms, we can bring this 2 to the front. So ln 4 will be 2 ln 2 plus i pi. And ln root 2 is going to be 1 half ln 2 plus i times pi over 4. Okay? So far so good. Again, how do we simplify this? Good question, right? Here's what we're going to do. In order to be able to simplify this, we're going to take out a 2 in the numerator. It's going to give us ln 2 plus i times pi over 2. And at the bottom, we're going to factor out a 1 half so that we can start with ln 2. I want the real parts to be equal. Get the idea? Plus, and magically, this needs to be i times pi over 2. And guess what? They're going to cancel out. Yes. Awesome, right? Super nice. 2 divided by 1 half. A lot of times I ask this question to my students. How many halves are there in 5, 10, 20? You can change the numbers. Or how many quarters are there in 5? And when, when you ask this type of question to people, like when you say how many halves in 2, people don't say 4. Anyways, to keep a long story short, this yes, it is 4. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And now we're going to look at some other stuff. Okay which is going to give you some high ideas, hopefully. So now I'm going to set this number equal to z, the numerator. And I want to do e to the z. What is e to the z? e to the ln 4 plus i pi. By definition, right? Since z is that, e to the z is that. Makes sense? Just while defining this property, I guess. Now we can go ahead and separate this into e to the ln 4 times e to the i pi. Awesome. What is that, though? So what's the deal? e to the ln 4 is equal to 4. But this is the funnest part. e to the i pi by Euler's formula is equal to cosine pi plus i sine pi. Wait a minute. Cosine pi is equal to negative 1 and sine pi is 0. So this is equal to negative 4. Uh-oh. e to the z happens to be negative 4. What does that mean? It just means z is equal to ln of negative 4. Okay, I know logs of negative numbers are not well defined in the real world, but they're defined in the complex world. So we can go ahead and write this as ln 2i squared, which is nice, right? But remember, 2i is a special number because it's 1 plus i squared. So it's kind of like 1 plus i squared squared, which is 1 plus i to the fourth power. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Remember our expression? We had ln 4 plus i pi divided by ln 1 plus i. And then now the numerator turns into ln 1 plus i to the fourth divided by ln 1 plus i. Again, using properties of logarithms. Everything is awesome, right? 4 times ln 1 plus i divided by ln 1 plus i. And then ln 1 plus i. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye. The answer is 4. And this brings us to from Alpha. Look at the different forms of the solution and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye